Weezy Allo. Weezy Allo. Awesome. Do you want a car? Like all of a sudden I'd be trying to prove that I'm not crazy when I knew I wasn't crazy. Right. Um Put a red heart if you want to become friends. Put a purple heart if we're already friends. Put a pink heart if you have a crush on me, which I doubt. Put a black heart if you want me to die. Devastation. So I'm gonna try out uh Coca-Cola Starlight. Let's go ahead and give it a try. That's, um, okay, wow. Um, it's got kind of a... a <laughs> what you doing, bro? Look at this projector in the box. <laughs> Put my dick in the box. <laughs> <laughs> bro, bro, I'm dead as fuck. I don't like peanuts. New channel chill, but I'm hot as two sun. Protecting the brand, I went bought some old guns. Roll up some... seen one of these things dude mm -mm. Mm. whatever liquid this is boils with the palm of your hand oh no shit yeah so what happens if you huh hmm. where am i where's reznov you will answer our questions do you understand who the hell are you that's not important what's important is who you are what's your name fuck you where were you born kiss my ass I just refer to you as uh, number six. Is that the best way? Number six. Oh, oh. Oh. Nobody knows what you say, Sid. Nobody knows. Don't make me look ugly. I missed the part where that's my problem. Hey, Michelangelo, don't forget we're painting the kitchen right after school. We got it? I missed the part where that's my problem. Teenagers. Raging hormones, they never change. Stop! Stop! It's me! I missed the part where that's my problem. Whatever life holds in store for me, I will miss the part where that's my problem. This is my gift, my curse, my problem. Who am I? I miss the part where that's my problem. Thank you. Uh, can I get a refill? Yeah. Awesome. Now, can I have that one, man? What's up guys? I'm making avocado toast. I know, I'll never be able to afford a house. <laughs> In 1996, the Barrick Gold Mining Company buried 50 miners alive, then proceeded to cover it up. Well, if it isn't Sussy Jack. Bro, are you high? Let me check. Yes. High on American spirit. And there's nothing more American. <laughs> And there's nothing more American than shooting a man in this Walmart of a world. What is Walmart? It's heaven, Raiden. Check the internet lately. Raiden, hop on Twitter. You need to see this. Fuck, I hate this website. It's all fucking weep shit, Raiden. It doesn't make any sense. They're being distracted with other nonsense. These baboons don't even know they're at war with Pakistan. This one's calling me a Redditor. And that's just the beginning. E-girls, gotcha. Memes, all just petty distractions so real men can get down to business. Amogus. And as you know, American imperialism is absolutely justified because we had a black president once. Before I fucking killed him. That's a nice argument, Senator. Why don't you back it up with a source? My source is that I made it the fuck up. Imagine a world ride in free of cancel culture where no one can call me out for my outlandish claims. A world where I can say the N-word. What?
Have you ever gotten a Snapchat from a girl? No, bro. Check this out, though. God damn, what the fuck? Yo, Mr. Black, what are you cooking, bitch? Doofenshmirtz doing from 1930 to 1945. Dr. Heinz Doofenshmirtz was born in the Germanic nation of Druselstein during the build-up to World War II. In 1938, the Druselstein territory was annexed by Nazi Germany along with Austria and the Sudetenland. Doofenshmirtz's father was conscripted into the 9th SS Panzer Division and was killed in action by a British pilot shortly following the D-Day invasion. Although it is unknown if Doofenshmirtz himself was in the Hitler Youth, Doofenshmirtz narrowly escaped youth conscription by Major Felix Steiner in the Battle of Berlin. Following the war, Doofenshmirtz immigrated to the Tri-State area where he lived for some time. When his Nazi ties were later uncovered, his wife divorced him and he was relentlessly hunted by Mossad agent Perry the Platypus. Eyes must be a great job. Deposit the left eye in the cleaning receptacle on your left. Kobe! My friends and I have faced many battles, and we have always dueled without drugs. I wouldn't be the world's best duelist if I smoked marijuana. It would disappoint my friends and lower my concentration. And losing control with drugs is one duel I don't want to have. I must stay healthy and keep my friends close if I want to defeat my opponent's monsters. I will never dishonor myself or my friends by using drugs. That's playing a game I can't win. Honor. My anti-drug. Yeah. Nigga wanna see me fall Stephen Curry, how I fall Don't- <laughs> 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 